Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm reviewing the A20M 3D printer from GTech. And I'll talk a bit about my 3D printing journey with all my new mistakes. So the printer is priced around £350 and it's got a dual extruder so it can print with two colours. It's got a print area of 25 by 25 by 25 centimetres, which I don't really feel I've utilised yet because I'm still at the beginning of my 3D printing journey. It also has a filament detector so it stops if it runs out or you have a power cut or something similar and it can then be restarted. So how am I getting on with my 3D printing journey? Well, I had a few mishaps this time around. I enjoyed printing this cap with the dual extruders. I should have done some better colours really, but more about that later. I also tried printing something really small with fine details and really didn't put in any useful settings and it failed miserably. So you can see some of my prints in the background and I've put a pencil next to it so you can kind of see what sort of size they are. I did see a cool video about someone printing miniature models with this type of printer, so I know it's possible but I need to experiment a lot more before I get there. In terms of assembly, it was nice and easy, there were no issues. I tend to look up videos of people putting it together, so I find that much easier to follow than the instructions. GTEC do have a video which is just about enough to follow, although I did look at someone else's that was a little bit more comprehensive and very helpful. In terms of the quality of the print, I found it really good. I changed some of the settings a bit this time, so it would print a little bit finer. I wanted to keep experimenting to be able to print out my models with more detail. You can see some of the lines are a little less pronounced on the cat here than the owl. The owl had much sort of thicker settings, I suppose, if you want to call it that. I was using Cura for my slicing program, which seems to work pretty well. It's a bit of a pain when you're going from Blender though, as it always seems to mess with the sizes, which is a bit frustrating. I usually just resize it in Cura, but it'd be nice to know what the best settings for export are from Blender and you can just change them in the export settings but I do find that a bit frustrating. I found the dual extruder and the ability to use two colours quite fun. You have to split your object into different parts so in Blender I just cut it up using a boolean operation uh, then you put those parts or you give those parts a different extruder colour and then just join them together and slice it. So it was pretty easy and surprisingly so. I'm always expecting 3D printing to be really complicated and you see lots of messy prints on the internet but it really wasn't too bad, maybe that's just the quality of the printer, I don't know. The filament I'm using is from GTEC again, links and details in the description. It seems really good but I should have chosen a different colour for the cat as red and grey doesn't really work that well. Also I should have cut it up more and made it more stripy, I think that would be much more fun. Uh, but it's really a nice thing to be able to do having two colours like that. I think the grey colour is good because it helps you see the detail in your model but the more colourful ones like the red here are more interesting to look at so in future for this type of model and for dual printing I think I'd want to use more vibrant colours such as the red in the future. I'm really enjoying working with GTEC, obviously they've given me this stuff for free so I'm very grateful but the quality of the printer and filament seems really great so I'm very happy and would buy it myself. Now I did have a failed attempt but that was completely user error and trying to get a really fine print, really small without the correct settings, uh, it, it wasn't great and you can see the results in the screen behind me. Apart from that one I haven't had any problems with messy prints or clogging or anything like that, it's all worked really well so I would certainly recommend stuff from GTEC for the simplicity. I will do some follow up videos later so check the links in the description if you want to know how I got on in a few months time. I'd still call myself very much a noob when it comes to this sort of thing uh, but if you want to get into 3D printing and you're a little bit worried about it being complicated, it really isn't. Uh, just go for it, it's really great fun. It's really nice to be able to see your models in their sort of full 3D glory. So the links to all the stuff I've been talking about here are in the description along with lots of playlists and courses that I offer. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks very much to GTEC and the team there. Uh, thanks for you guys for all your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.